is my first year being a beekeeper, so I'm going to blog about what I'm up to. I'm doing urban beekeeping in Houston, Texas. Something I've always wanted to do, and I just finally got around to it this year. Um, so, originally I was only going to do one beehive, but um, all the videos I watched on YouTube and everything I read said, yeah, you really should do two because it's twice as expensive. But realistically, it gives you a little wiggle room if something goes wrong. So, <clears throat> I ordered another screened bottom board. I ordered uh, another set of supplies. Man Lake's been a great vendor. I'm picking up my bees Saturday, so that'll be exciting. But um, I've got a couple more hive bodies because I plan to do two high, two deeps, and then if I get lucky, I'll do honey supers. And realistically, I don't expect to put the two deeps up right away. I expect to do a deep and then pyramid it and then add a honey super with a queen excluder. But um, before all that can happen, I got to paint them. So I wanted to do a start to finish what I'm doing. And I know there's probably other people who know better than I do, but you know what? That's fine. Um, I thought this would be something interesting and cool. So this is how it arrives from Man Lake. I thought about making it myself, but quite frankly, I don't think I can even buy the wood for what they sell. Them. So unfortunately that goes in the trash, but this gets recycled. So first things first, I want to lay this out, and I think if I am creative, wow, that's a little damp. Yeah, if I'm creative, I can get this up here like this. Now, no peeking. There's another YouTube video hiding down there. But I think I can get both of them up here. And paint everything at once, which will shorten the process. I really do use very nice plastic bags. i tell you, if I was doing this, I would not be using plastic bags like this, because these are expensive. I probably wouldn't even be putting them in plastic bags, but I'm sure they have a reason for it. But this is expensive wood. So this is actually really nice wood. So there you go. I've got all of it laid out. The only thing that other thing that needs to be painted is this screen to bottom board. So we're gonna paint the sides of it while we're at it, and we'll just set it up against something and hope for the best. Actually, it's probably going to go right there. Yep, that looks really good. So, I'm using PVA primer for my first coat. Um, you know, whatever you paint on here, it's going to soak in. And um, PVA primer is cheap, but it soaks in. And then I will top it off with interior paint. Not because it's the, really the right paint, but because it was $9 for a gallon of it in the oops section of Home Depot. And it's some form of white, so it'll work. And there we go. Now, I have no idea how old this is. I found it when I was cleaning the, the workshop slash garage the other day. Mm, it's a little grody looking, but workable. So, got some crusties in here, but it, again, it really doesn't matter. This is just a slather coat to plug the pores, sort of like gesso for my painter friends. Yeah, I'm, I'm actually kind of slopping it on here because what I want to do is just literally plug the pores so that I can paint it. Now, the interesting thing about latex paint is there's only about three companies that actually make it in North America. So I don't care how many different brands there are or what kind of nonsense the marketing people come up with, but what you're really paying for are additives. So if you were painting your hives fluorescent orange or black 
or some color that could shift like red or you know, turquoise, you might be worried about ultraviolet light bleaching your paint pigments. But white is a color that doesn't really change. And at the end of the day, the worst that will happen is you'll put another coat of paint on it. Maybe it chalks up. Maybe it doesn't. Not really a big deal. So I'm using cheap paint because I really don't think it's a big deal. And wood is going to absorb and release moisture, which is going to give the paint fits anyway. So you're still going to have to paint it again, unless you use oil base. And oil base will absolutely turn yellow with time. It's just what oil does. But other than color fastness and maybe chalking, I've really never seen a difference in quality of paint. Now, when I was much younger, in 1999, I bought my first house, and I took my friend's advice and I bought Benjamin Moore paint. It was hideously expensive. It was like $35 a gallon, which in 1999 was really expensive. And it was supposed to have a 20-year warranty and all this other horse shit. And it was supposed to be such a better paint. And I bought it from a paint company in Montrose in Houston, Texas. And I gotta tell you, two years later, that shit was peeling off. And I went back and I said, hey. And they said, hey, yeah, it's wood. It does that. Buy some more $35 a gallon paint. I said, fuck you. And I went to Home Depot and I never looked back. I also had that $35 paint on my walls inside, and it chalked after about four years, and I went back and I said, hey, your really expensive Benjamin Moore paint is chalking. It's defective. Oh no, you must not have prime you must have painted over something else. Yeah, I did, that PVA primer you sold me. Oh, well it must have been a previously painted surface. No, it was a brand new virgin sheet rocky bastards. And, uh, yeah, there was no warranty. So, the nonsense that if you buy good paint, you get a warranty, yeah, it's just that it's nonsense. And, yeah, I'm a little bit bitter. I don't like being ripped off. So, I generally do like uh, Bear Paints. That's Home Depot's house brand. I don't know who actually makes it for them. I think it's Glidden, but I could be wrong. And, um... At one point, I had to paint an outbuilding, and so I went in there and I bought the cheapest crap they made because I frankly didn't think it was going to be around for long. I bought America's Finest, which was, you know, pigmented water by comparison, a real thin paint. Sprayed it on. That paint outperformed everything else on the property because the wood siding would absorb moisture and release moisture, which is what wood does. And in doing so, it would stress the paint and pop it off the wood. And after that, I said, hmm, if I'm not painting hardy plank, and I'm not real concerned with color fastness, then I'm going to buy less expensive paint and be done with it. Because the color fastness and the chalking doesn't start until about three or four years. And by that point on wood, you got to repaint anyway. So I rest my case. Now I'm sure there's somebody out there using Martha Stewart's hand-picked, fairy-mixed, goddess-blessed paint, but it ain't me. And that's fine. If you want to use paint that is environmentally sensitive, I suggest you go get yourself some milk paint. It's an old paint, very easy to live with. It's water-based. I don't know much about it beyond that. And it kind of offers some muted colors and it looks interesting. Me personally, I'll stick with my acrylics. Acrylic is a type of plastic. And I just want to make sure my handles, I've got the crevices on my handles because that's an area that doesn't like to take paint.
see it's already sucking up the paint right here and this that's just kind of what new wood does Now, for my 8,000 subscribers, I love you very much, but for my subscribers who are aquarium fans, no, I have not forgotten. No, I have not abandoned my aquarium. I just, it is a major undertaking to put up a saltwater aquarium, and it takes time to get there. Now, if you are new to my channel, please do check out my other videos. I greatly would appreciate your subscription so that you can keep up with my other interesting videos. And I hope you have enjoyed this video and my commentary. As usual, you are welcome to comment, but comments are moderated. Always put a paper towel over a paint can lid before you go to reseal it. And this one's going to be particularly trouble, but I'll get it resealed. And this stops any splatters. I'm going to come back under there. Good as new. Thanks for watching. I hope you found this video interesting.